feel Jesus in the house. I feel the Lord is here to He meets his people. He shows up to do what only God can do. How many believe that's the truth? How many believe that's the truth? Oh, Lord, come on, let's praise him just a minute. Lord, we praise you. We exalt your name, Lord. Lead you up above the name, Lord. And I just praise you today. And I thank you. Thank you for your power, For that I know that you put it on us. And I praise you. Hallelujah. I praise you, Lord Jesus, for this day.
And I thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for the word that's been in school, Lord. Give us words of wisdom and power. And say something, Lord, to your people. Come on, let's praise you this time, would you? One day, brother, look. All in my troubles, your troubles. All the pain and the sorrow. All the best will be left behind. The Bible says the former things are going to pass away. Behold, all things is made new. I thank you, Lord. I praise you. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, Jesus' name. If you want to be saved, you can. I'm going to speak a few minutes, Lord Willow. But the Lord put something on my mind, my spirit. And I was thinking about this book. book. We have hard places in this life we've got to go through. And the Lord let me know that bitter my mountain is, the greater my victory. The greater your battle with the devil, greater your victory. Now we need to think about that. The Lord told us everything's going to work out to our good. And I don't know why we like to get in the valley and sit down there and begin to moan and complain. And, and it's like the children of Israel that was never happy. They never came. They got water. They got men from heaven. The flesh fell out of the sky from God. They never, never was happy. But I, I begin to think about this church and I begin to think how it is when I'm going to a storm or a battle that I face in this life that Jesus is with me. It doesn't matter how high the mountain is. As long as God is with me, I can conquer that mountain. No matter how wide the battery is or how deep that battery is, whatever I face in this life, I've got somebody with me that's greater than my problem. I've got somebody with me that's greater than my trial or the situation that I go into. When I go into the heat of the battle, I'm not facing the devil alone. I don't face my enemy alone because I've got somebody that's walking with me and his name is Jesus. You can die in your battle if you want to.
above them, that generation had to be destroyed. God hates a murmur complainer. He said you're healed. He's not going to go back and take strap for my healing. He's not going to let Moses wrap right the Ten Commandments and uh, take the Ten Commandments and hang over his finger. He grabbed it in stone. This word is forever settled. If he, he even is my healer, or my deliverer, or my peace, or he had it, it's that plan. God can't be two things at one time, be right and wrong at the same time. He's never wrong, he's always right. So when you get in that stone, that you can't understand, God, why is this happening? When you sit down and murmur and complain, and won't somebody pat me on the shoulder, of Brother Michael, you poor little thing, it'll be all right, I mean, you don't have to cry about it. That's what, that's what the place wants. The place wants to be pampered and, and pet on the back. But Jesus said, you walk out there and take my force. I gave you power. Take back what the devil stole out of your life. And stand to be that Jesus person in the park. And the Lord said that the children of Israel through Moses. They murdered. It's kind of like a lot of people today that everything always goes wrong. Nothing's never right. God showed me a long time ago, but Mike, he didn't allow the devil to bring that storm to destroy it. He said, I will put more on you than you're able to bear. There's the conditions with that. Yes, sir. Amen. That's conditions. That's right. If you're doing what God's word said do and carry his commandments, yes, right. he won't allow nothing to overpower you or take you down. Honey, right. when you don't feel like shouting praise him anyhow. Oh, yeah. When you're facing all the power of the hell that's coming to get you, see nothing's working out to say, I thank you, Lord, you done told me the word. Yeah. This thing's gonna work out to my good. This thing's gonna work out my healing's coming up. It's coming down that dusty river. You said, Lord, I can be healed. I am healed. I, I was healed. We can sit down and moan and water and complain. Feel sorry for ourselves, or we can shake ourselves. Stand flat your feet and kill the devil. Yes, sir. I don't know what the reason is for the storm. But I can tell you something that yeah. this storm was happening to me for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. This may be the Lord is molding you, uh -huh. honey, to step up to another level uh -huh. that you have never walked in. Did yeah. you know tribulation work with patience? That's what the word said. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. When you have a, a battle with the devil storm, somebody said, Oh, my patience is very pain. Let patience possess our soul. Because if we're full of patience, Brother Jim will wait upon the Lord. Oh, yeah. Well, here it is. We've got patience. Have it ever. Waiting for somebody to pick them up at 12 o'clock. And they took them to 1.30 to be ready. Most time to get left behind. Yeah, right. We got to get ready and make earth set. I can't make Brother Michael. He's ready by his music of example. I can't uh, make him get ready if he wasn't ready. Right. You got to be full of persuading in your mind right. and tell your flesh person, hey flesh, you go straighten up. Right. Go look in the mirror when you get home. Yeah. Yeah. Paul went to a problem. Come on. That pillow of that lady you see in that mirror, that's your problem. But still, they will not break me because I built on the rock yeah. and the gates of hell to prevail against the church. Prevail means to overcome. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah, we don't face trial. The Bible said that God in God in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Don't be just going to live a hypocritical life. Honey, the devil go along with you. You hold your hand, pat you on the back, tell you how good you are. But when you get your life in shape of God, yeah. all of hell. Seems to come your way, but I'm gonna tell you what. He made a way for my escape. Yeah. And my kid came from trial. 
if I hold on to the word, when I get in that valley, I may not see what see what God's got paid for me, but I have to see that lily that's in the valley.
God is strong in this man. God's life. Well, I can see that like this walk my son, my hook deal. He said that the wheels get hauled and kept up running. Hallelujah, I got hit. But no, you can't walk back. Hallelujah, I got hit. But no, you can't walk back. God, show me, brother, because the people are going to start getting healed. And the word is being preached. They're going to leave without seats. Come on. People walk down through the street, the Bible said to him, probably they don't count as conscious, maybe probably they don't pray. Right. But he didn't have to go pray for none of them, just walk by And the reflection on the Holy Ghost was coming out of him in his shoulder. He walked by, how many did get off the bed? The church would do these works before Jesus Christ splits the Easter sky. They will do these works completely. And cancer is going to be, the, be easy to get healed and to headache. I saw this before. We see it happening in part. But I want to see a person that comes down out to the prayer line. Be healed. I saw this. It was coming out of the the walk. Coming in for prayer. You know what I believe, Brother Kurt? In this last day, the Church of Jesus is going to have the power that they're going to right over here and stand up here and come to the hill. Amen. Amen. I believe that. God damn it. That's God's going to do it again. Make up our mind. We ain't sober no. I don't know when he's going to complete my miracle, but I know this. He's going to do it. He's setting it up. Somebody said, Brother Paul, y'all too loud. Put the little team out here for us up. Let's see what loud is. Amen. 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 I'll tell you, church, you don't have to die in that body. You don't have to stay where you're at. Being back, being in trouble. Jesus said, come on the apostles. He will bless us abundantly above what I can ask. Oh, thank yes. How powerful is that little curse? That's powerful. Yes. We can just thank him here and it happens. Somebody said, Do you really believe it works that way? I'm going to tell you something else. You may not sound like I believe it, but I'm going to tell you how it's going to happen and I'll prove it. There's two types of miracles. Healing. A healing or miracle by faith. And a healing or miracle by gift. I'm going to say something if I don't agree with you. Some of a miracle by gift will happen whether you believe it or not. Yes. I can show you the word. That man was about to get fellowship. Love so dear he was sick and the house was full they couldn't get him to where Jesus is at. I know what we do. Yeah. We'll get him before the Lord. I know what we do. Yeah. We won't try to take the top of the roof off. Yes, we'll order right down where Jesus is at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that man on that bed, that was his faith they get him healed. Uh-huh. Hundred and more brothers that started taking the shingles off of what the hell the roof. Imagine how that congregation house full up top and saw a hole at the size of a couch. Yeah. And then brothers let him down before Jesus. Honey, yeah. whatever it takes, I'll put your message sometime. Take the roof off of the house and get more Jesus out. Yeah. Well, I get ready to do it. Love to get to Jesus. Yeah. Hey. 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 The boy's faith got that man healed. Hey. Amen. The man man, Peter John prayed for him. He didn't have a faith. He was crippled. He didn't know what faith was. Because it's such as I am. Mm. I give unto thee. Honey, that's what every pastor in this nation needs to get on their knees 
Get this rotten hell as it is inside out of our hearts and get it right. Love one another. Love God and be a servant of God. Oh, you might be able to see it. The roof falls in. I believe this is my personal belief. The Bible says judgment must begin work. We got to be an example. Because everybody's looking at you and watching you. Right. Your book, spiritual book that they have written your life. Right. Is that right? And the Lord said that the righteous judges all things. Though himself is judged by nobody. The righteous are like Jesus. Come on. I know they preach nobody can be perfect and it's never going to happen. Yes, That's the biggest lie. Right. The devil's on top. Right. Paul said, present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And Jesus said, be ye perfect yes. even is the spirit part of the word. God is a spirit. He didn't say God is a person. God is a spirit. And the fullness dwells in Jesus, the manifested word of God that took place. Amen. If you cuss, walk a mile for camel, come on, 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 then you're going to cross the line. It's going to get you in trouble. Yeah. 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 Jesus is going to have some firing soldiers in this entire time. Yeah. And they are not going to compromise by the curtains of this world. Yeah. Yes. The Lord said, why am I going to stay home and sit in the back room and boo-hoo and pound well? Here you are again talking about me again. Come on. Come on. Come on. The apostles have come in all joy. Yeah. 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 I'm not coming down to that level. How if they want to be the reason they're going to come up to God's level? And if you get out, I'm ready to get right on the top of it. Because I'm going to hold Jesus, but the curtain is in there. It's wide enough. Destruction's in the land. But the song says, God's going to move his hand. This world's going down. Preach the groundwork. I said, I'd like to bring that army up there. For about two hours and have a pastor in Castle County locked into the room, pulled the Jeep up again to the old chain and the other one. When I got down, we'll let me pick it up to pieces, both of us. You said that would be a Yes, it would. But Jesus went to the temple. They were sitting there gambling and buying and selling and defiling the temple. He didn't know what I said. Well, you bad boys, bad boys. You know what I told you before. You shouldn't do this stuff. Honey, he went in there like a raging bull. Took a whip, flipped the tables up and wore their hides out. The birds went one way and the money went the other. They went out the door. He said, you 
you made my house a den of things. My house shall be called a house of prayer. That's what we need to turn for. Don't let a praise God and seek God. Some of them have been grandma called or daddy called. And some of them thought we just called and went. But I didn't see them. Jesus said to me, it was for me. They didn't get me. And if they left me, they weren't going. I don't care. I'll tell them to get by. And I believe the preachers are going to go through the prayer line. I'm not the prayer line. I need to go through the prayer line. Through the judgment. See the Christ first. We as preachers and pastors has to be an example to the world that sees us. And I didn't care if Paul said follow me. As I follow who? As I follow Christ. Which is the main kind. I know y'all familiar with you. Paul said, Though an angel come from heaven, not hell, the angel from heaven. He said, If I come preaching the gospel, Paul said, Let be a curse. Don't be of God's speed. No, no, don't listen to the Bible. Check them off the list. They from that much damn money. Come on. That's right. Paul said, follow me. He said, one time, you would have plucked your eyes out. And they look in my hands. That's what the word says. At one time, you thought so much of me as a minister of the gospel. If I asked you to put your eyeballs in my hand, you would have plucked them out. But Paul said now, since I preached the truth to you, you become my enemies. My God, I don't want to never come in to the world. My, my, my. As many in this life are sold out. Because of the scripture to give it out. I tell you this. I said if the Bible said that. Jonah swallowed a whale. I will preach. Jonah swallowed a whale. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible's right. Like that old song you used to sing. Somebody's wrong. He's good at you. On your grandma and grandpa. Way down to pray. And ain't Bessie. Troy and Roy. And whoever it might be. If they ain't in the truth. They ain't in the truth. It's that simple. The truth will set us free. He that the Son is set free. He's what? Bring me your body to this world. You give them. What's wrong with living right? What's wrong with letting your light shine? I hope I said a little bit. You know, preacher, you can't testify. I love you, church. I, I've been diagnosed with an enlarged heart. Some of my father pulled a little son. I said I've been diagnosed with an
Keep holding it tonight. We're going to find them. There's somewhere around the throne of God right now having the greatest time that they ever had. No mom and daddy is not over there in the graveyard. That flesh man or that flesh woman is going back to the dust of the earth. Dust thou are and dust thou shalt return. Paul said a little bit to be absent from the mind is to be present with the Lord. I'll give you a song. I'm going to fly like an eagle. You may not be there when I go. If I have to go, I'll go in death. But Brother Bucky, my soul, my spirit, man, is going to come out of me and fly like an eagle. Amen. Oh, Jesus, in this house. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your precious word. Yeah. 